Aloha folks, welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. I'm happy to have you here. If you were here with us last week, we made Beach Bum Berry's Ancient Mariner from 1994. That was a delightful cocktail. Like, you should try it. You should really try it. This week we have something from South Carolina in the 1950s from a bar called the Swamp Fox Room. Not very tiki sounding. If you buy the Beach Bum Berry Total Tiki app, there's a whole story about this cocktail. I don't want to give everything away that's on the app because I want you to go out and buy that thing because you really, it's such a good instructional tool. Anyway, the cocktail's called the Ankle Breaker and the reason for that is this big long story about a guy in the Revolutionary War breaking his ankle. You gotta go and get the thing, read the thing, and uh, it's a cool story. But the reason it ended up in the Tiki app is because this recipe is real similar to the Barrel O' Rum from the Warehouse restaurant in Marina Del Rey. The warehouse itself isn't really a tiki restaurant, but it is very uh, flotsam and jetsam, uh, stuff hanging from the ceilings, nautical inspired. It's a really cool place. And in fact, our buddy Danny uh, Giardo, Tiki Diablo, holds a tiki marketplace there from time to time. All right, let's jump into the cocktail. This is the ankle breaker from the 1950s. So this cocktail calls for lemon, simple syrup, Puerto Rican rum 151, and cherry hearing. Now this cocktail is exactly why I wanted to make these videos. It's one of those recipes where you look at it and you go, I don't know about this. So lemon juice. So one ounce of lemon juice. One ounce of cherry hearing. Oof. So this stuff goes in one of my favorite cocktails, the blood in the sand, but but it kind of smells like cherry cough medicine, so we'll see. One ounce of that. Half an ounce of sugar syrup, simple syrup. And one ounce of Don Q Puerto Rican 151. This cocktail calls for shaking with crushed ice. So there's our crushed ice. I've also read that when you're shaking, you should have an like an agitator, a couple agitator cubes in there. Now this is probably bigger than you would normally want to put in there. It's supposed to just to help mix things rather than just turn into a big slushy. So let's try that. The tin's nice and chilled, and it says to pour into either a copper cup or into a double old fashioned. And I have this one here. There's a story behind this glass, the Savage Luau. Wow, look at that. Now the reason I use this glass for this cocktail is because my band played a house party one time called the, called the Savage Luau. It was literally in somebody's front yard in I think San Juan Capistrano or Capo Beach, something like that. I figured the ankle breaker was the perfect cocktail for the Savage Luau, because those dudes were so out of control. They had like a flaming limbo thing. It was all like surfers and skaters and like punk rockers and stuff. We were playing, we were playing surf music and stuff and there, were, there was like a full mosh pit going, crowd surfing. It was ridiculous. So rad and so fun. So here's the ankle breaker. But in the picture, like a Navy grog, there's an ice cone. So maybe I can slurp a little bit of that down because I did make an ice cone. But here is the ice cone. It's from Beach Bum Berry. You can get it at cocktailkingdom.com? Net? Not totally sure. You can get it on the internet. And the cool thing is, is, is it comes with this rod. It makes the hole for you. And then you can just take it out. And this is gonna be way too much. It's gonna overflow if I put that in there. You wouldn't use the ice cone with ice already. But I thought I'd demonstrate it because it's in the photograph in the app. So maybe we'll hold off until the Navy Grog. All right, folks, the ankle breaker. Okay. All right. <clears throat> if you like cherry, 
you will like this drink. I, on the other hand, don't really like cherry. It's not, it's not horrible. I, I like, I like almost all cocktails because I think that there's something to, I think that there's something to take away from each one. It's, uh, it's real tangy on the front end. Like real tangy with lemon. But then you kind of get the cherry back in the back of your throat. Huh. That is not a cocktail I would make again. It's a cocktail you should make and you should totally try it. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we have a lot of cocktails left to go. Oh, I guess we can mark off the ankle breaker. Damn. People are straight losing their shit. Oh, they're chasing that guy. That takes us out of the A's. Next up will be the Bali Bali. Aloha, see you next week. Well, 